Um, this season means a lot to us. I mean, uh, started off with just being my senior year, but then uh, in, in June we lost, a, we lost a brother, so it became more than that. Started living my life more through him and uh, less through myself. Um, just dedicating my life to him and through his values and the way he elevated others um, took us this far. I mean, uh, the brothers we learned, we got from this was the brotherhood we have is crazy. Um, but yeah, 13 and 1 for our guy 13. Mason Hunter. Next to Yeah, if you want to answer. Yeah. Hey, so what did you take away from this game from your guys' performance? Obviously, it's not the way you guys Maxwell, wanted to do it, but you were. And ultimately, how is this going to help you going forward in the team going forward? 100%. I mean, we want to set a new culture for the, for the 260 family. We want. Uh, Hopefully this is not the last guys for last time for my brothers here. I hope they come back and stronger. I mean now we know how it feels like. Last year we fell down in regionals and couldn't get back up from there. But this year we came back hard and fought through regionals and through semi stay and we got here and stay, stage was just too big for us. I mean uh, but hopefully the young guys learn and hopefully elevates them forward and gets them a little bit better. How was this offense different from some that you faced? Uh, 100%. They were fat. They were really fast, and they walked very well. I mean, they established the run very early, uh, which which hurt us. I mean, they had a couple big plays, which shouldn't have happened, but that's on us. But um, yeah, congrats to them. I mean, there's there's a reason why they've done done it three times in a row. Chad, you saw 100%. I mean, we had a we knew that we had we had to give it all we got, um, and it got to the point where. If that's the only way I could help, that's that's what I was going to do. I mean, if special teams is the only way I can do it, I would do it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, jumped there in the perfect time and luck. I'm sure you guys would have liked to come away with the state title today, but you are the Mental Attitude Award winner. What does it mean to you to know that you're a coach and administrators and you know, people across the state uh, recognize what you've done? It means a lot that they say that about me because they're the ones that have instilled those values in me and have – made me the man who I am. So it means a lot that they recognize their good job by, by, by what they're doing. Uh, Cam, obviously not the finish that you were hoping for, but just to get to this stage, just how proud are you of, of uh, everything that you were able to accomplish this year? Uh, June 7, we all remember that day is the day that Owen went down. And it's just, we all remembered it. We pushed it. We got 13 wins for him. And it's just awesome to make it here. I know the outcome isn't what we like, but it's awesome to make it here for him. What was that moment like for you catching a touchdown in the Lucas Oil Stadium? It's just awesome. It really all hit me, too, as I looked up, and I just know Owen's up there cheering us on. It's just, we laid our hearts out there, and we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but it was a fun season. This team shattered the expectations for what a program could do in Northeast Indiana in Class 6A, first regional, first semi-state title for you. I mean, what... How can how do you think Carroll football can continue to build on a season like this? Well, it's not a coincidence. It's all God's work. Number 13 is in our hearts. Um, and we, I feel like we just changed the culture. Our culture in the locker room is awesome. And it really came along with the coaches. We bonded with the coach as well. It was just a really tight-knit group. And I hope all the juniors, sophomores, and freshmen that witnessed that can carry on with the seniors had. What are you going to remember the most about playing with these guys? Uh, these dudes are awesome. I played with them through middle school. It's just I'm going to remember the memories and the friendships that I had. It's awesome. You guys good? Um, well, Coach, not the finish that you were hoping for. Um, still a lot that you were able to accomplish this season. Uh, what do you take away from a year like this? Well, we're, we're very proud of our guys. Very proud of their resilience. Very proud of their character that they showed all year long. Um, dealing with adversity, um, but continually playing hard all the time. Um, you know, we're, we're not disappointed, you know, the outcome is not what we want, but we're not disappointed with our players at all. I mean, there's two teams that are playing in the 6A state championship and, you know, we're one of them. So we're, we're very proud, very proud of the community, um, of the support, um, you know, but, you know, it didn't come out as we wanted. But, you know, that's that's the lesson of life that you can work hard, but you're not guaranteed to have anything. Just looking at what you were able to accomplish this year, you know, first regional, first semi-state title, uh, you know, shattering the expectations or, or really shattering what a Northeast Indiana team could do in the state's biggest class. What, what, is, what does a season like this do 
for uh, programs in 6A moving forward? Well, I, I think, you know, not only, you know, all programs in 6A, but it's it's a building block for ourselves. I mean, you know, it's a, you know, being on this stage, our kids understand the level of, of commitment that you have to have to be here, you know, all year long. And, uh, and we'll, we'll build on that. And we hope that the young guys take away from it and, and experience this moment. And, and, you know, we hope to be back, you know, in the very near future. What are you going to remember the most about this senior class? Uh, just the love that they had for each other, um, the, the commitment that they gave to each other. Um, dealing with the, the greatest adversity, the loss of somebody, you know, is, is the, the biggest, biggest deal that they're going to ever deal with. Um, you know, and, and they rallied together and they supported each other and they, and they played hard for each other all the time. And that, that's the takeaway, and that's led by the senior class. Ben Lowe. Tyler Shire. I'm about losing a game, but Charlie the pride Gardner. you feel in the kids and the program and the positive and the negative regardless. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Cooper without Reed question, Reed. I mean, we're, we're so proud of our guys. We're so proud of the players. You know, and it, it's a game, you know, and, and we're fortunate to CJ win 13 Sanders. out of 14 games, you know, and, you know, how many teams are undefeated in, in, in all classes right now? There aren't many. There aren't many. There was, there was only one in 6A. And which which indicates how difficult it is, but you know we're we're extremely proud, extremely proud. There is no regret and, and no remorse at all. Thank you, coach. Yep. Thank you. Oh, thank you.